my time at Creighton, I've learned that life is a game of progression. And if you're not moving forward, you're standing still. And while you're standing still, your competition is passing you up. And that's what it is. When you venture out on your own, when you enter into new territory, you're going to be scared. But as long as you have somebody that you can look back to for comfort, to know that they're still there to support you, then you know it's all good. Machiavelli stated, everybody sees what you appear to be. Very few know what you really are. Okay. Everybody give a round of applause. Sure, come on, sure. All right, right here. What's your name? Alexa. The teachers have prepared you for this moment, and you all get to go out and you get to make them proud, you get to make your parents proud, and you get to make yourselves proud. The two fears that you are born with, the fear of falling and the fear of loud noise, that's it. A fear of failure only comes about because of the experiences that you have in life, because of the naysayers that you come in contact with. It is about society and the interactions that you have with it that allows you to create this fear of failure. A large reason for the imposition that we realize in life is not the circumstances that we've had to go through, but rather the way that we've reacted to those circumstances. There's a saying that goes that in life we are all faced with a series of great opportunities, brilliantly disguised as impossible situations. 7.42 a.m. that morning, my mom was pronounced dead. Out of nowhere, unexpected. And I'm sitting here in shock because this was the lady that I was achieving for. This was my reason for doing what it is that I was doing. And just like that, she was taken from me. We don't know the time that we're given, but we have to make the most of each day. Because again, remember, our lives will not be measured by brevity or longevity, but by the legacy that we leave behind. <laughs> 